systems check complete, all indicators green. Confirmed. Clear for rotor engagement. Rotor engagement complete. How are the temperatures? Engine one looks good. Stabilizing now. Roger that. Clear the area. We designed the CH-23K specifically for these heavy lift scenarios. We manufacture every component of this aircraft right here in our state-of-the-art facility, ensuring the highest quality for our Marines. level of precision is critical for the final assembly. Every component must meet our exact specifications before it leaves the factory floor. We need to ensure the tolerance here is within five microns. The pitch diameter on this gear must be exact for correct meshing. All measurements are within tolerance. The green indicates full approval. Surface finish looks flawless on this one too. Excellent work. The critical precision required means we have to constantly measure these components to ensure they mate perfectly. the spline measurements on station four. We need to verify the torque settings on the main shaft. I'm getting a slight deviation on caliper reading four. Let's cross-reference that with the thermal data. The internal journals are clear. Confirmed, let's get the helical position. Lowering the gear, stand by for engagement. Slow and steady, watch the alignment on the far side. Clear on this side. Take it down another inch. Torque sequence complete. Reading confirmed on the tablet. Okay, guide the bearing in slowly. Ensure perfect alignment. Yes, the seals are seated correctly. Easy now, watch the alignment on the left side. Got it, it's sliding smoothly. All right, easy now. Coming down slowly, watch the clearance on the left. Got it, looks good. Slowly down, check the alignment here. Looks seated. Starting the wrench sequence now. Start here, then the opposite bolt. Follow the star pattern precisely. Got it, moving to the next one. Steady descent now, watch the alignment. Clear on the port side. Bring it home easy. Okay, easy. Okay, easy now, bring it down five centimeters. Copy that, watching the clearance.
monitor the pressure right here on the output shaft. The green bars are stable, but the red highlights suggest a potential anomaly in the fluid flow. The pressure gradient here, especially in the red zone, indicates a need for optimized routing to improve efficiency. From the precise touch of human hands to the unerring accuracy of our automated systems, the King Stallion takes shape. Still is good. All right, team, easy now. Watch the clearance as we push it in. Okay, easy now, keep it straight. Clear on the left. Almost there, just a little more. All right, pull left side. Steady, steady. Clear on the right, keep it rolling. Ground team, confirm alignment on station four. Copy that. Alignment confirmed. Proceeding with lift sequence. The proper head formation and flush seating are critical for managing the flight loads. We're looking at the most critical stage of the assembly, focusing on the structural integrity of the fuselage. The tolerances here are measured in microns. Make sure that's torqued correctly. Got it, moving to the next section. Hold it steady right there. All right, next one. Send the next panel up. Are these torque specs updated? They match the revision. Over. It's crucial to seal these seams properly. It protects against water, dust, and maintains the pressure integrity of the cabin. Make sure these connections are fully secured before we sign off on this section. Already ahead of you. It looks good from here. Precision here is critical. This tail boom endures extreme stress from the rotor, so we ensure every single joint and rivet is perfectly sealed. We need the overhead crane repositioned over bay four. Copy that, shifting the load now. Align it with the forward clamp right there. Okay, it's secured, verified. Moving to the next section. Wiring harness secure and seated properly. Confirmed. Interior systems check, sequence initialized. All right, easy now. Watch the port side strut. Coming down steady, clear on the starboard. Reading confirmed. 
880 foot-pounds. It's secure. Torque check complete, reading 88.0. Everything looks nominal here. All right, let's cross-reference that with the flight control surface schematic. Verify all tie-downs removed. Confirmed. Engine one is clear. Proceed with the lift sequence. Clear on the left. Roger that. Watch the clearance on the hub. Check the alignment pin on your side, Ken. It's clear. Bring it down another half inch. Roger that. Holding steady. Check the torque on the starboard coupling right here. Right. Looks good. I'll log it. As you can see, the PIM is now seated correctly. We're getting solid green across all six indicators, confirming the connection before we secure the main power conduit. Systems check complete. Fly-by-wire is nominal, ready for taxi. We are currently testing the primary flight control actuator for the CH-53K. As you can see on the screen, the we're monitoring the hydraulic pressure here. The green line indicates optimal flow, ensuring the rotor assembly performs within tolerance. Pressures are nominal, hydraulic output is stable, we are green for the next sequence. Remote diagnostics look nominal, how is the tactile inspection? Clear on section three, moving to four. Surface integrity looks good here. And the fitting alignment is perfect. Clear on the left. Confirmed, two meters down. Torque on bolt 72 is good. Copy that, moving to 73. Watch the clearance on the main strut. Sequence 11, Smolowski, check the torque. Okay, easy now, bring it down slow. We are clear on the east side. Clear on the starboard side. Copy that, lowering to position five. Steady. This interlocks with the main gearbox. It's critical for the automatic blade fold sequence required for shipboard operations. The hydraulic pistons here control the pitch and the folding sequence. Sequence initiated. Blades are moving to the stow position, clear. The pivot bolt on the number two rotor appears slightly loose. We should retorque it before cycling. Roger that, checking the specs now. Back to Frederick's work. The King Stallion's lift capabilities are unmatched, especially the folding tail. Reading steady at point zero zero five. Confirming alignment on the starboard side. Pre-flight checks complete. Roger that, Captain. Clear to proceed. Flight control checked. Ground team, status update. Roger that, pilot. Removing forward chocks now. Rotor engagement authorized. Uh, N1 increasing smoothly. Ground check complete. Starting sequence now. Confirm clear. Affirmative 109. You are clear to engage. King Stallion, ground check status. Status nominal. Vibration levels acceptable. Vibration levels are well within acceptable limits. Ground, this is T40B. Final checks complete, request permission to lift. The vibration levels on the main rotor show an anomaly right here. 
I'm logging the data now. Should we recommend a level two inspection? All diagnostics check green. We are clear to spin up the rotors. Confirmed. Ground crew, status check. All teams report, ready for launch. The ground run data confirms zero anomalies. Engine operation and rotor tracking are perfect and we are clear for hover testing. Diagnostics complete, we are fully mission capable. Roger, pulling onto the tarmac. Watch the tail rotor. GPU disconnected, moving clear. All personnel accounted for, green on the starboard side. Pre-flight checklist complete, system status verified. Roger that, we are good to go. Clear on the left, clear on the right, good to go. Roger, RPM. Bravo Zulu, King Stallion! Final descent advisory, winds calm. The future gen process takes this aircraft from metal to machine, from the factory floor to flight. This is the world's most powerful helicopter. 